This, the, the reason for launching this web is today, uh, I've seen the past, I've seen the present. Uh, the past politicians, J.R. Javadana, Dali Senaga, D.S. Senaga, John Kotalawal, SWRT, Bandar Nayak, and uh, Brian Vikram Singh, Gavin If you If you see, if you, see, if you, if you actually uh, monitor their wealth, they have not added anything to their wealth while they were in politics. But the scenario has changed. The present government and probably the previous government the, or everybody has made so much money that you can see it's evident from all the propaganda they use for this parliament election. They're, they're spending over 2,000 lakhs every minister. So, and, and this is a huge question mark. The people would want to know how they have made this money. This is not the, the whole amount of money they have made. This is just a fraction of what they have made. So where did they get this money? And the government is not interested in checking their safes. The government is not, not interested in checking their bank accounts. But if you see a poor man robbing something, they'll be taken into court and hammered and would uh, prosecute them. But the people, but the influential people who, who are connected to the government, who are close to the government, who are relatives of the government, are not punished at all, are not dealt with. And they can make their money, they can send the money abroad, they can do whatever they want. And it's just a greed. These people are probably 50, 60, 70 years old. They live for another 5 or 10 years. But the money they are making, they think that they won't die for another 200 years. And as a young politician... What I expect from politics is respect, love and affection. And to get this, I have to serve the people and you have to have the capacity and the ability and the creativity, and which I believe I have because I came to this house uh, with four of my friends. We rented this house. And from the first election, I didn't have a cent when I contested in 2005. But this election, I'm spending uh, about 50, 60 lakhs for this election, which I've got from my parents, from my brothers and from my, my own wealth because I'm, uh, now I'm a successful lawyer. And... Uh, and and I have not collected a single cent from any uh, businessman. And I am proud to say I have not paid any Pradesh Sabha Mantri or anybody for this campaign. And it, everybody, it's with love and affection which they work for me. And which I, I think I am probably very few politicians who, who actually does this. And when somebody come and ask me for, uh, if you do this, we'll do this. If you do this, we'll work for you. And I always tell them, I might do it after elections. But don't hold me for ransom and I don't want to give you that promise and I don't want you to work for me just because you want something out of me. What you can gain out of me, it's an investment for the country what you make. And I'm going to make money. I'm going to develop this country. I'm going to make your life better, your children's lives better, because I have the ability, I have the creativity, and I have the uh, correct mindset for this. So you choose, and if you believe that I'll be worthwhile uh, getting your, uh, your vote and your preference vote, cast that vote for me. And if you think that I'm not the person for this, don't cast your vote for me. And I take it with open arms, whatever decision that you make. And, and I have only one mother, one father and one religion. I'll have only one party. That is United National Party. I'll serve this party until I die. And you can vouch for me and you can keep this record. And uh, I have no uh, 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 doubt at all my life will end with this party. And, and I think uh, um, we will be ruling this country for a long time. It is Prabhakaran who always made us lose. From 94, he killed Pre President Premadas. Then Gavin Zanaga, Rari uh, killed all our leaders. And the next election, there was a bomb close to Chandra Kumar Tunga, the ex-president. And then the sympathy vote went to her. And then that election we lost. And after then, 2005, uh, Jaffna, they didn't allow uh, Jaffna to vote and the rest of the Tamils in the country to vote. And because of that, we lost again. And even after his death, uh, the president, uh, this president, used it to his advantage uh, and uh, even in his deathbed, Prabhakaran made sure that UMP lost the next election also and it was robbed as well. And the law and order is not in this country uh, because of Prabhakaran. And in the future, I think the things will change. People will uh, think from their brains, not from their heart, and will make a wise decision. Otherwise, your future is at stake because the budget deficit is $450 billion. The previous year, 250 billion. It has gone up to 450 billion, and there wasn't, there was no budget last year, 
and there's no money allocated for any uh, uh, development program and you will understand without allocating money for a development program you can't develop this country how do we get any money we don't have any friends in the world we do our diplomatic uh, relationships are uh, awful so uh, you realize that uh, with this sort of approach the government the government the friends of the government are libya iran myanmar all underdeveloped countries and uh, i think uh, we have to change change the culture of this country change the political culture and i believe we are the best people to do this young politicians like us in the ump with our leadership thank you very much